Nine to one in game number one, and we're underway. Bearcats win the opening draw, fired in by Jimmy Soper. Sent around the wall to the near side. Kept in at the line. Colby Lancelli behind the net. Lost the puck to Willie McDonald, who kicks it to the corner. Denver lines over there to get it. Back to Lancelli. Puck goes by him all the way to the near corner. Jake Primo in off the point. Lancelli behind the net, looking for a trailer. Lines in the shot, just missing that. Lancelli for front scores! Timberline shot missed the net. It bounced off the boards. Hora Jaychuk was out to the top of the crease. Lancelieve on the doorstep. No one covering him. And just 27 seconds in, the Bearcats have the lead. It's 1-0. Now Sumakis, top of the faceoff circle with the wrist shot right into the glove of Joel Hora Jaychuk. And some pushing after the play. Sumakis got knocked down. Now Brandon Pye in there. And it looks like Brandon Pye is going to be taken to the penalty box. Well, along the boards to Green at the line. Denver lines. Got everything behind that shot. A hack on the skate of Soper. And Walsh is heading straight to the penalty box. Not much of an argument. Looks like he and Soper had some words coming down the ice. You could hear the stick of Walsh make contact with Jimmy Soper. And that's going to put the Bearcats on the power play. Their first of the night. Just tried to be cleared by Murphy. Just held in at the line. Now McNaughton looking for a shooting lane. Finds one. Blocker save main rebound. Primo with the shot. Pora Jaychuk made the save. Had no idea where that rebound was. It was sitting right in front of him. He falls down. Pora Jaychuk looks to be in some pain. He's down in his stomach. And it happened as he was covering up that puck. May have been the shot itself. Hora Jaychuk in a lot of pain right now. The trainer for the Crushers is going to come out. Primo just teed up a shot in the slot. Hora Jaychuk looked behind him. Can't quite tell what the problem might be. Maybe his left leg. The shot may have stung him on the thigh. 2.56 left in the double minor to Walsh. And it is that left leg. He has his hand stretching things out here a little bit. Poor Jaychuk, the five games so far. Two and three with a 4.03 goals against. He's back to his feet. Bending the leg a little bit. He looks to be okay. Power play 0 for 2 so far. Lyle in on the breakaway. Mike Lyle in short hand and scores! Just eight seconds into the penalty kill. Mike Lyle get in on a break. Beats Jacob Fancy with the backhand. And we're tied at one. Couldn't find the puck. Kept in by Sumakis, who'd skittered over to the far side. A centering pass broke up. Now a pass across for Sumakis. Can't quite connect. Perigo. Dumps the puck off to McNaughton. Cross ice feed for Donnelly. Thrown behind the net for Perigo. Knocked off his stick by Dara, but the Bearcats are there. Centering pass scores! Brandon Pye behind the net throws it over to Alex Sumakis. The goal drought for Alex is over. Number 89 hadn't scored since February 7th, but he's just put the Bearcats on top in game number six, two to one. 
Plants a leave in to take the draw, wins it against Poirier. McNaughton's going to skate in. McNaughton rips the shot, just missed the top corner. That puck's going to go all the way down the ice. Alex Anthony is racing after it. Fancy has to come out as there were two crushers closing in on the puck. In the corner now, McNaughton throws it to Alex Anthony. And out the far side. That went off the back skate of Beaton. Walsh was almost able to get that puck. And now he steals it away from Beaton. Pass across. Shot comes in. Scores! Daniel Walsh gets the puck over to Poirier. Roofs it over the shoulder of Jacob Fancy. And one minute and five seconds after the Bearcats took the lead, the Crushers come right back. It's 2-2. Lines with the drop pass. Lancely with a shot. Hora Jaychuk up bump. There's going to be a penalty here against Denver Lines. The Crushers come back down the ice. To the corner for Perigo. Hora Jaychuk made that save. That shot comes in. What a save by Hora Jaychuk going to his right. Brandon Pye had him dead to rights. The Crusher goaltender and his pads together as he slid across. On there, he takes a hit as he throws the puck to the corner. Spears. Up to Murphy, shot off the iron. No goal, Murphy bring it right into the knuckle where the post and crossbar meet. What a shot by Murphy. Now Sumakis blocks that shot, he comes back the other way. It's a three on two, Sumakis over to Daniel Perigo with the shot off the iron. Bearcat centering pass, can't find Soper. Thrown in front of the net, scores! Right in front of the net, the shot came in. Can't see who it was who got that tip in front. I think it may have been Soper. Lancelie was also there. And again, the Bearcats score early in the period, just 22 seconds in. It's 3-2. to two. Bags. Jumps around with him, or rather, Rory Graham. Now in front of the net, Soper in front. Soper waiting, gets hauled down by Graham. Down by Perigo. Or rather, Perigo is thrown down by Justin McDonald. Centering pass, broken up by Primo. Pressure stay on the puck. That shot was blocked in front of the net. The Bearcats. Three on two, back the other way. Cross ice feed for Sumakis on the near side. Alex in. Takes a shot, just rolls towards the front of the net. And the whistle blows. Primo was right in front of the net. He got knocked down. Meanwhile, the other end of the ice, Spears is laying down. Did not see what happened to Regan Spears. But in a considerable amount of pain here, 14.22 to go in the period. Luke Poirier going over, check on his teammate as well. The net's still on its moorings. Did not see what happened to Regan Spears as the play was going back the other way. The Bearcats had a three on two. Spears now pushing himself up just on his knees at this point. Hopefully he's okay. Looks like Poirier has to come in and help out his teammate. Spears leaning on Poirier, favoring his left leg. May have gone into the end boards. He's not putting a whole lot of weight on that right leg. Now Evan Morrison coming over. Hutchinson over talking. with one of the referees. Spears had his head down the entire time. He'll be let off the ice. Hopefully Spears is okay. And they win the faceoff with a McDonald over. Justin McDonald with the shot, that one wide, pass the front, missed the net. Swagstra had a wide open cage and he missed. The way with some speed here. Wenzel in, takes a shot. Hora Jacek made the save, big rebound. Now Boivier over in front, Bearcats with the shot, McKinnon scores! 
McGinnis in front of the net, had kind of a weak backhand. Pora Jaychuk couldn't find it. 4-2 Bearcats. Pass over to Walsh. Walsh to Willie McDonald. Back to Walsh. Took a shot, but fanned on it. Sumakis going to skate out with the puck. He has two teammates with him. Sumakis in. McNaughton going towards the front of the net. McNaughton in, takes a shot. What a save. Scores! Cora Jaychuk talking with the referee. McNaughton took the first shot. May have got his own rebound, or may have just rolled in. The pad of Cora Jaychuk was kind of blocking the play. Either way, the goal counts. And the Bearcats with a shorty of their own. They now have a 5-2 lead. Point. And a hit at the blue line. Walsh gets upended by Colby Lanceleve, who then gets thrown down to the ice. And Lanceleve over to say a word to Walsh. Either way, Colby going to the penalty box here. To Justin McDonald thrown along the boards. Soper tried to jump the pass. And it gets ahead to Walsh. Pass over Walsh with a shot. Scores! Daniel Walsh buries his second opportunity. Brings it back to a 5-3 game. And again, Walsh has really been the best crusher on the ice tonight. The net 40 seconds to go. Hora J. Chuck back on the crusher bench. Timberlines couldn't get to the loose puck. Pass back to Willie McDonald. And ahead to Lamke. Lamke's drop pass will be picked off by Brandon Pye. Brandon Pye over center, over to Daniel Perigo, and that will do it. And Walsh comes in after the play, hitting Daniel Perigo, and then Denver Lines gets tackled. The frustration for the Crusher's boiling over. There's absolutely no reason for that. And Spears and Denver Lines getting into it. Perigo had his arms up in the air. Nice he lines. Begging the crowd on to make some noise. If that's Perigo, he's going to be let off. Perigo gets the empty dinner goal. Perigo scored, had his arms up in the air. And Walsh came right in and nailed him into the wall. After that, Spears grabbed a hold of Denver Lines and tackled him down. Two for slashing, two for roughing, and a 10-minute misconduct. For both lines, there go, two and 10 for roughing and a misconduct. But the buzzer sounds, the Truro Bearcats are on to face the Valley Wildcats in the East Link Division Final. And it'll start at the Apple Dome in Berwick, not sure when the series is going to start. I would expect no later than Friday, Saturday. On the Meek Division side. It's the Dieppe Commandos against the Miramichi Timberwolves. Final shot totals 35 for the Bearcats, 24 for the Crushers. In that third period, 13 to nine. The Bearcats are lined up at center as the Crushers over to congratulate each other. Maybe that congratulates the right word. Because we're talk to each other after this game. Jake Primo giving the third star. Daniel Perigo, the second star with a goal and assist. And Colby Lanceliev opened the scoring. Added an assist. He gets the game's first star, and here's the handshake line. Both teams going through. Handshakes, a few words between some of the guys. It's always the toughest part this time of year. Sportsmanship here between the players. Rivalry like no other in the Maritime Hockey League between the Bearcats and Crushers. Obviously, a lot of fans made the trip over Mount Tom to watch this game as Bearcat fans have gone back the other way. 
so much support throughout this series. Good crowd on here tonight. Unfortunately, for one team, it had to come to an end. Tonight, it was the Pictou County Weeks Crushers. Hats off to them. Again, for their incredible season. Crushers fans giving their boys a round of applause and some noise here as they head off the ice. The Bearcats still gathered in their own end. Some of the older players for the Crushers still on the ice. Lyle over. Now the head off, the Bearcats salute their fans. They're off to the second round. What an incredible up and down series this was. Listen to the announcer, see if he had an inside scoop on when the first game of the East Link Division Final would be. No dice, so we'll have to wait on that. So we'll have a broadcast at some point, eventually. Likely Saturday or Sunday, I would imagine, here back at the Community Credit Union Arena, the Math East Link Community Center. For Duncan McLean behind the camera, I'm James Faulkner. The final score here tonight, the Truro Bearcats 6, the Pictou County Weeks Crushers 3, Bearcats take the series four games to two. We'll